Well, when Jackson Packer was born, we had a pretty good idea of what life would look like for him. As the only son of James Packer, many assume he'll go on to take over the family empire and fortune. Perhaps he will, but for now he's enjoying just being a 14-year-old, the teenager keeping a low profile until now. Hey there, uh, I'm Jackson, I'm Jackson Packer, I'm her son. Australia, meet Jackson Lloyd Packer. Jackson came into the world in 2010 as Australia's richest baby, the male heir to James Packer's $4.5 billion family fortune. And even though little Jackson is only hours old, you can't help but wonder if he'll follow in their footsteps. Born into a dynasty of newspapers, television, casinos and wealth, son to Erica and James. Oh, he's divine. Is he's he? amazing. He's such a good little boy. Grandson to media tycoon Kerry. Great-grandson to Sir Frank Packer. Fast forward to 2024 and the 14-year-olds travelled to Moldova in Europe with his mum. <laughs> Jackson has the Packer features and in some ways looks like most teenagers. But this teen, who appears far more grounded than most, is on a mission with Erica on the other side of the world. You definitely want to help out because, you know, everyone... Like, I, I have so much growing up, and I'm so thankful for that. He's aware his childhood is different to most. Erica wanted him to see firsthand that life isn't always delivered on a silver platter. First stop, Moldova, a destination not on any tourist must-see list. Neighbours war on Ukraine. The Packers are here to try and help refugee children. These kids, they've been, like, stripped of nothing, and it's strip like to have nothing and it's just it's just better if you know we could all we could all share what we have and make just life a little bit easier for these kids going through an incredibly hard time born in australia jackson has grown up in los angeles he shares an extraordinarily close bond <laughs> with his mum it was erica's idea to visit moldova as a long-time ambassador for UNICEF Australia. She wants her kids to be reminded that with wealth comes a greater ability to help. Australia as a country is very privileged and I think our family in particular is very privileged. It's really important for me that the kids grow up uh, really understanding that sense of responsibility that they have. Moldova is one of the poorest countries in Europe and now home to tens of thousands of Ukrainians who fled harm's way. Jackson is here to see the hardship for himself and the help on offer. That is fun. From early learning centres benefiting from UNICEF's help. Do you need this to go somewhere? This child is my best friend. To schools providing education. <clears throat> Erica has been a UNICEF Australia ambassador for more than 15 years. So what do you go back now after this and say to your family, your siblings, your mates at school, what do you go back and tell them about this? Well, it's, it's quite unreal. Like you, you look at the TV and things are broadcast so like, oh, the war in Ukraine. And you, you see how many people there are, but once the numbers in your head, it becomes like unfathomable. More than one million refugees have passed through Moldova, 100,000 remain, 50,000 of them children, including five-year-old Artyom. Like many of the refugee children, the innocence of childhood has been stripped away. <laughs> How's it been for you seeing these are people who've left a war zone? It's definitely shown like and broadened my scope of things because you see all these children who've been like displaced and they have to run away and you see them at those camps and those children and they still 
they're still smiling, they're still playing, and it really, really shows how not only is it the little things that count, but it shows how some things that we like obsess over and that we really care about aren't really that important. So away from all this stuff, away from helping mum, away from helping UNICEF, what does 14 year old Jackson like to do? If I have like a thing, I'll just like do a thing, for like, if I have like a Lego or like a puzzle, I'll just like sit down and I'll do it for a couple of hours straight and I'll get hungry. <laughs> and half a world away from the life he knows with his sisters, Indigo and Emmanuel, Jackson's finding out what happens in the family stays in the family. Tell me a secret. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> she's very good at, you know, even though we have, we've come from like a privileged upbringing, it's very good and I've been able to see so much like more and such a broader perspective thanks to like the upbringing and how like grounded I am thanks to her. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for not letting out family secrets. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a current affair joined the Packers in Moldova courtesy of UNICEF Australia. Yeah, it gets to you. It's, um, it's like every, every dollar you donate, like on this play division, that that's that's like a, a item of to like, for like a child to play with, like and one item for like fifty children to play with, and you know that might make their day from being sad to being happy. At UNICEF's supply headquarters in Copenhagen, a warehouse which stocks emergency kits and education tools, Jackson has questions. Would you ever consider making it like 100% fully automated? Yes, we, we were thinking about that, but the challenge we have is on the packing line. And he's more than willing to do what he can to get help out the door to emergency zones around the world. Oh, it's a race. Oh, do you? I love it's that. It's a race against the clock. Yeah, it's time to be about here. Sometimes you got to be on your toes. Oh, yeah. And on your guard here, too, there's a sign of the danger of the conflict zones UNICEF goes into. This bomb vest is worn by aid workers right now in Gaza. Oh, I feel like I shouldn't be wearing it. Why? I don't, I don't really... I'm not doing uh, enough, like, work or enough stuff. I'm not, like, putting my life on the line. I don't think I really deserve to wear this. Thank you for coming and spending the time with us to understand the work that we do. This is a long way from the shores of Australia and the birth of the Packer Empire. What's clear, though, is how Jackson's eyes have been opened by this experience, even more so to the need to help others, very much following in his mother's footsteps. Now this next generation of Packer could chart a new path, forge a new legacy for one of Australia's most well-known families. I want to help people and I want to, I want to have an impact on like people's lives. I don't want to just be just another like cloud in the wind. Yeah, I'm so proud of you. Oh, shocks. <laughs> And that's not the end of our conversation with Jackson and Erica Packer. On A Current Affair this Saturday, they take us behind the scenes of their humanitarian mission to help Ukrainian refugees. For more information on how you can help, head to the UNICEF website.